The first is eros or passionate erotic love. It's all about desire, like a flame that will burn brightly and may fade out at the slightest flicker of trouble. Phagma or enduring love is the one we all hope for. It stood the test of time and has been nurtured to be deeper with a bond strengthened by commitment, compromise and caring. Playful love or ludus, that stage when you start flirting with someone and it becomes more. The teasing, the conversations, the joy, the pleasure, it's exciting and your heart flutters. Agape is the self Selfless love. It's what Buddhists call metta or universal loving kindness. It's about loving without question or expectation of anything in return, accepting and forgiving because of the greater good. Friendship. Affectionate love is philia. It's the love between equals. It's loving someone without the smokes and mirrors or physical attraction. Those friends that you know you can pick up the phone to at any time. It's deep. Philautia or self love. I believe this should be first for all of us. It's not about ego, bound by vanity. It's knowing that to care or love others, we must first care and love ourselves. Familial love is known as store. This can be family by birth and also those close friends and family, like the ones from childhood. It can sometimes be an obstacle when we don't align with values, etc. of those members in our circle. This love is built on memories, familiarity. It's instinctual. Lastly on the list is mania, that obsessive love that's often referred to as toxic, codependent or trauma bonded. There's attachment that's unbalanced a madness. Poor self-esteem can lead us down this path where we search for love with each action or inaction reinforcing our beliefs we have of ourselves and our worthiness.